Kerry O'Neill, do you plan to travel? Yes, I have some big, big plans. Um, I wish I could tell you. I really, really wish I could tell you. But I have a few things that I have to slot into place. And I've travelled a fair bit in the past. I've been to places like Argentina and Germany and oh, a few other places that I just can't think of at the minute. Uh, Spain and that kind of jazz. Um, Venice, places like that. But I have big, big plans um, that should hopefully come to fruition at the end of this year. I intend to do a wee bit of travelling throughout the year. I want to go, we're going to Cornwall. Cornwall, which is kind of travelling. I've never been there. It's in England and I'm Irish, so that kind of counts, right? So, yes, yes, and yes is the answer. Um, from Laura. Um, oh, I know. Uh, if you had a time machine, would you rather go back in time to meet your ancestors or go forward in time to see what happens in the future? And also, I've, re <laughs> I've watched The Matrix recently and obsessed um, with reading people with. Would you take the red pill or the blue pill? So first of all, the time machine. I would go back um, and meet people. I love seeing where I've come from so that it, and see how it's impacted, how we've got to where we've got. Um, I find that really fascinating. I, I don't think I want to see what's in the future. I kind of want it to be a surprise and I want to decide what my future is going to be. So I don't want to be impacted by future influences. Does that make sense? Um, Red pill or blue pill? I can't remember which is which, but I would take the one that you find out what the hell is going on. I don't want to live in a bubble. I would much rather have the information. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, I would take whichever one told me what was going on. And also you could do all sorts of manner of cool stuff. Like seriously, I would be jumping up all over the place and scaling buildings and all that kind of crazy shit. What beauty product is your must have? Must have. Sorry, this is Alison, Alison's question. Alison Campbell. Um, I honestly don't know. I guess if you have oily eyelids, MAC Painterly Paint Pot. That is a definite. I've repurchased that a lot and it's a staple. That's one that will always come back. So MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Is that good? Uh, Gabrielle McCormick. What are your plans for 2016? I have so many. I have so many. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on this separately, but quick rundown, uh, determined we were going to be debt free, uh, no consumer debt whatsoever by um, March, April, sort of May time, that would be all gone, both of us. And of course that means we can start saving. Um, overall plans for my channel I guess, I'm going to continue slightly changing it, you notice I've been gradually changing it, I've been including more fashion and I've been including just wee bits more lifestyle sort of ones and chatty videos like this. So that will continue to change and my channel will continue to gradually change. I'm still not feeling the big, must change everything all at once. The channel is coming along really nicely. For me, I am going to sit down and I'm allotting myself a certain amount of time. Hopefully, I'm not going to force myself to do it for the next month or so, but I want to start improving my skills and learning a lot more. So I want to be much more proficient in editing and coming up with, you know, planning out my ideas a lot more because I always think of it afterwards, which is just not the way forward. But there's a lot of that, so more changes for YouTubeness that's coming up, and I intend to um, hopefully try and get home more to see family, um, and take more trips. But it's going to be relatively conservative. But generally, I just I would love to do if I uh, just want to really do really well. <laughs> Words aren't working at the world's at the end of March. That's my main aim at the minute. I would rather keep a shorter focus. So. Sonia, hello. Um, what has been your most favorite thing slash moment to happen because of YouTube? And just curious, also fingers for eyelashes or eyelashes for fingers? <laughs> I can always trust you to be a sensible one, Sonia. Thank you so much. Um, what has been your most favorite thing slash moment to happen because of YouTube? My most favorite thing has been reconnecting with a whole heap of Irish people again. And that sounds really daft, but I found out about the Irish YouTube community. Laura, thank you Laura, told me about it. Do you think I'd go and look myself? But it just never occurred to me that people would gather to talk about stuff. I have met some really cool people, like 
genuinely really good people and for me and you sort of help give me a bit more confidence and I've got so many ideas from you and the way you do things that has been the best thing like meeting you lot seriously it's been great because I went to CrackCon that was cracking <laughs> it was really good and I also went to somewhere in the city I was a bit more subdued by then I think I'd worn out more myself out by then but it was really good as well I got to meet Siobhan and stuff that was really cool and yeah I think that for me has been the best just having more support in my life for all of this and feeling part of a community much more and fingers for eyelashes or eyelashes for fingers fingers I think fingers for eyelashes would be pretty damn cool just think of all the cool things you could do you could pick stuff up with your face and if you had eyelashes for fingers, you wouldn't be able to do very much because they're not strong enough to pick things up and do anything. And I like to play the piano with various instruments and I couldn't do that if I had eyelashes for fingers. Uh, Kim, what's your favorite song at the minute? I, I remembered, I had to go and ask the husband the name of it. It's Nathaniel Radcliffe and it's SOB, son of a B. It's a cracking tune. We've seen him live and he's just utterly epic. Absolutely brilliant. What advice would you give to someone who started a YouTube channel or wants to start one? There's also from Kim. I think it's the same as everybody else. Just get on and do it. It's going to be a learning curve. You're not going to have it perfect from the start. I have seen some YouTubers that have started and clearly they have watched a lot of YouTube and they have watched a lot of tutorials beforehand and then they've created their videos. So the videos are a lot more slick which is really impressive really but I enjoyed my learning process it was fun making mistakes along the way and looking back and laughing but um, I think my biggest advice is just get started go on ahead do what I forgot to do which is go and actually see if there's a community um, in my for me exam for example the Irish youtubers or there's a UK version as well um, go and see if there are any groups on Facebook because people are just generally very, very supportive and that can help give you advice as well moving forward. So find a community. You don't need to start with any fancy equipment. I've had this camera, it's a Lumix G2, it's a Panasonic, it records in HD. I've had this for about, oh god, it must be the best part of a decade anyway. I've had it for a while and it does a powerful job. I have no uh, intention of upgrading anytime soon. But yeah, I would just say, just get started. I started on the webcam on my computer. Now, if you're going to do that, make sure the computer's eye level and you're not looking down at it like I was. Note to self. Last question is from Ronan. Are you coming to CrackCon in 2016? Yes. If you can get it organised in the next couple of months and give me a date, I will definitely be there. August is going to be particularly hectic. There's summer in the city. There's CrackCon. And there's also, I have a big family get together with all of my cousins, which I cannot wait for. I absolutely cannot wait for. Um, so I'm gonna be traveling back to Ireland twice in one month, which is kind of impressive, but I need to get stuff booked. So <laughs> if it gets organized soon, without a doubt, I will be there. But if it's a last minute job, probably not because I couldn't afford it for both me and Simon. Um, and accommodation and all that kind of fun stuff but I loved it I thoroughly enjoyed CrackCon last year and mostly the meeting of people and the talking shit and the other nonsense that went on <laughs> and the bad dancing that was definitely a sight to be seen there was some serious bad dancing I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it would love to go again next year I've already booked my tickets for somewhere in the sitter so no no pressure there Ronan you know you did say when I talked to you that you would possibly have something in the next few months so you know, no pressure. But that is it. Thanks a million for watching. I also wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who subscribed and that likes my videos and shares them and just comments on them and everything else. I've reached 2000 and something, not very many, like 2010 or something subscribers. And you have no idea how much you made my day. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you and now you know me a wee bit more and if you have any more questions feel free to drop them down below and maybe I'll do another one of these in six months or so do them every half year I am so tough people ask me questions I was so nervous about doing this because I thought nobody's gonna ask me any questions nobody likes me it's not it's just not gonna happen so I'm utterly delighted thanks many for watching I will see you in my next video also 
very quickly. You may have noticed this has gone up on a Tuesday. I'm going to be doing Tuesdays for the next month just to test out some changes and stuff. So yes, Tuesday, Friday. Good. Okay. Glad we had the chat. I will see you on Friday. Have a good one. Bye.